get away from people. This is called Renfrew. Ren Frew. R E N F R E W. Is a stork farmhouse. Uh, from heck, I don't even know when it was built. There's the farmhouse. And then you got like a little outcropping there. And a big barn there. There used to be a tannery. That little bridge I crossed back over there. This place is super old. And apparently the story that I heard, it's really haunted. I do know that because it's in a couple books. But the place, something about Native Americans came here. There was a girl or two. Something. Is my hair sticking out? Yeah, it is. Well, I need a haircut, bad. But Native Americans, like, killed the little girls that were here. Um, there's, like, a big family graveyard up that way. But I'm going to try walking the trail and see what I can find. And see if I can't get to a place by myself. We got this thing here. Yeah, the tannery was, like, over there somewhere. Somewhere. We'll see what we can find. See what kind of trouble we can get into. I just figure, guys, I want to say this real quick because I know I'm going to put this video up first. Um, I'm going to walk up here once. Thank you guys to everyone, and I do mean everyone, that posted the old jail video again. Even though it's an older video, and it's been up for a while. Huh, I wonder, hold on. I'm trying to get up, way up there. And I don't know if I can, if I can walk right through the yard. We're about to find out. But I want to say thank you guys. King Frostmare. Uh, man, um, that is impossible. Sandbox 10 put, I think, just like a picture of one of my things that I caught. And then there was another guy that did a reaction video to King Frostmare's video, so that kind of helped too. But I hit a thousand guys. I hit a thousand subscribers, it's still going. And a lot of you guys are saying good comments, like, you know, I should have way more subscribers. And that makes me feel good. But thank you guys for letting me hit that part. Now I just need 4,000 watch minutes or hours. And then I can start doing live investigations. But we're gonna walk around here and see what we can do. But I just wanted to say thank you to everyone and all your comments and like always guys help me out man still share my stuff on your facebook page instagrams do whatever you can to help me out if you can but could you imagine way back whenever 1700s early 1800s just being a kid playing at your house so you'd be outside playing enjoying yourself and all of a sudden you just see somebody two people that you know was going to kill you and you just take off running as two little kids. I mean, that'd be, that'd be honestly terrifying. And I feel bad that some of these people, just like uh, Enoch Brown Schoolhouse, which is not far from here. It's only, heck, 15, 20 minutes car ride. And same thing happened there, two Native Americans. I mean, heck, for all we know, it could have been the same too, because I know after, after they uh, did that, to uh, the kids at Enoch Brown, the, the tribe like banished them because of what they did. They didn't believe in that. Royer, oh, this is the Royer house. Built in 1808, 1815. So in early 1800s. Oh, there's a little wasp nest up there in that tree. I just don't believe they would have had a freaking two-story two-story house like that with a with a balcony look at that it's like nice like a basement and then first story two-story okay so my dummy self didn't hit record.
So, nothing really happened though, so I'm alright. Name. I had some really good responses, guys, but I didn't hit the cord on the camera. Can you make either one of those go off? Can you touch one of them? They will not hurt you. It's just our way to communicate. I got a K2, I got the REM pod, and then I got spirit box going. Can you say what year it is for you? I don't think I think that was I think that was just a radio station. So I don't know. Can you try to make one of them go off? Here, I'm going to turn this off. Power on. I'm going to try my new device here I got. If there's a child here, we have toys for you. It might be fun for you to play with. Sounds like I hear knocking or something moving up there. Can you make either one of them come off? Come over here, please. Like I said, my name is Jeremy. I don't know what that noise was. If that was my stomach. It is hot, guys. I'm like sweating. I gotta check the time too, because I can't be here forever. 154, 2 o'clock. Can you come knock on something? Like this? Can you knock back? Okay. See how that plays? Wouldn't that be fun if there's a child here? All they do is light up. That's all they do. I'm going to try this one device one last time. Power on. Can you speak through that? That sweat dripping in my eyes. Hello. Can you say your name? Is this the Rennemeyer farm? Can you tell me what you did here? What did you do for a living? I sound like the same voice, guys. What was that? Did you, did you tan hides? Can you touch one of them for yes? 
That's all, all they are going to do is just light up. That's all they do. They don't do anything else. There's that. I heard the huh real quick. Can you try to use the cameras and stuff like that for energy to speak? Did you have any children? I'm not here as any disrespect. I come as a friend. And I just wanted to speak to you that this is where your home stood. Did you have any children? And did you have Native Americans come here and hurt you? and hurt you guys or hurt one of the children at the other farm? I couldn't tell if that was just going on. I was looking the other way. I think the REM pod's going off too, I can't tell. Are you touching one of the devices? Devices? Like I said, they won't hurt you. Do you need anything? Do you want to say anything? Do you have a Do you have a message? Do you have a Do you have a message? I can't believe that battery's dead already. Something drained that battery. Can you try to make either one of them go off? Look what this one does. See? Ain't either one of them cool? They won't hurt you. And then that one, other one, that gray one there just lights up. I know they seem strange. I'm sure of that. But they won't hurt you. There are new tools to use in the kiln. All right, guys. So, let's see their camera. All right, guys. So I might walk over to the graveyard. It's really hot. I do gotta go pick up the kids soon. Um, maybe I'll take you guys along with me when I walk to the graveyard. Maybe I'll just walk around, show a couple things, and then go. But I do gotta go get the kids, and I want to get this video up. Just to give you guys something to watch, let me turn this one off because there ain't no point of this one. But yeah, so all right, guys, turn you off here. All right, guys, I had to hurry up and hit record. I was gonna walk up to the graveyard, which I still am, but as I was walking, this little son of a gun here, which has babies on its back, started chasing me. Watch, watch when I get in front of him. Now he was. Okay, now he's running off. But it's got babies all over its back. Look at it. There's babies everywhere. That son of a gun legit started chasing me. Like, I was even, like, trying to, like, juke it real quick. And I got, I got fast feet. That sucker about got me. And he's quick. About got stepped on. What's that saying? What's that saying? Like, F around, lay around. I was about what was about to happen. F around, lay around, sucker. All right, guys. So we're gonna walk up to the graveyard. I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys. So this is actually like really pretty. Look at this. It's got like trees going over. You know what I mean? There's a little path that leads up. Like that's really pretty. 
I like it. I mean, too bad it goes to a graveyard, but it's still pretty nonetheless. Like pioneered Waynesboro. Right there, you got Jeremiah Burns way up there. I don't know what for these little small graves are. Look at that. It must have probably fell over. So they put it into the piece of concrete like that maybe. James. What is that? Sarah Burns. Jeremiah Burns. Jeremiah Sarah Burns. There's two of them. Jeremiah Burns and Jeremiah Sarah Burns. Oh, that's Sarah, the other Sarah over there, our brother. I don't know what that is. Man, 64 years, 1890s when he died. I wonder if this is John Burns or whatever it was. This says revolutionary. These could be the old ones here, like these ones, these small ones, and him. These might be the older ones. Those might be a little bit later. The family that lived here was there. And I bet you that was children. The little graves. Maybe. Oh, that one's really tiny. That's sad. Yeah, that's super tiny. I mean, me and Lindsay. Me and Lindsay might come here, maybe. Come up to this graveyard. Try going over to that house. I don't know if we'll get in trouble. Like I said, I never vandalize nothing. I never, I won't kick in the door. And if it has signs like no trespassing and stuff, I most likely will not go in. I, mean, I, I won't go in. You, uh, any house that says no trespassing, I'll say that. I don't like it. I ain't trying to catch a charge. I love paranormal, but not that much to be paying fines and probation and all that stuff. Like, I like to live my life. I don't like to have somebody tell me what I can and can't do. And that goes with probation and stuff. So, I choose not to do certain stuff like that. So, I'll just leave it at that. Like, if they have no signs and can't figure out who lives there. And you try reaching out to hundreds of people. Not hundreds. I'm exaggerating. But, alright guys. I don't want this to be long. So, I'll just... uh Maybe I'll give a quick video of the house. You know, maybe I'll just do some B-roll up here. It's dark. All right, guys. I'll show you the house and everything here in a minute.